Welcome to the art project. The other day I found a cicada in my shop. And so I did a little photo shoot with the cicada and got it put up on my computer where I could see it. Um, picked out a shot that I liked and put it on my computer where I could see it and decided to do a drawing of that cicada. So this is the one I picked out right there on my laptop. Pulled out my sketchbook. I actually did a drawing the day uh, before or a couple of days ago of the same cicada but from real life uh, I found it I drew it I didn't video it or anything just um, just did a drawing for the sake of doing a drawing and so today I'm going to do a drawing but this one I'm doing from the photograph um, I don't know if it's easier for me to do it from a photograph or not but it's probably easier for most people uh, there is a difference between drawing something on a two-dimensional surface from looking at a three-dimensional object and drawing something on a two-dimensional surface while looking at a two-dimensional representation of it. Um, it sort of takes out the middleman. Um, it makes it, I think, for most people a little bit easier. Uh, but I've been drawing from real life for a long time, so I find it pretty easy to do. But anyway, uh, I digress. Um, since I'm doing it from a flat, two-dimensional uh, surface, I kind of used a little grid to set it up. It's not really a grid, but sort of a, a shape-building process. I've got some other videos on shape-building. And so I, I looked at its uh, dimensions and um, proportions and, and uh, laid out the three boxes or three and a half boxes that you see and then just started putting in the basic shapes uh, as I see them. The cicada is made up of a whole bunch of like little plates. It's almost like it's covered in armor and it's pretty neat uh, to see all of the, the various plates. And I looked at it up close and I had to to kind of blow the image on my computer up real big so I could see it but I took a pretty good picture high definition and looked at it and it's almost like plate mail made out of leather if that makes sense or maybe it's like plate mail armor covered in leather it had all of these little plates and they were worn from I don't know maybe hitting trees or flapping their wings or whatever it is that they do uh, different parts of the plates just seem to be worn it was pretty fascinating got me to thinking about all of the different artists that have done um, exploration or or maybe the maybe I should say the other way around all of the people who have explored things and then drawn the picture to document it I think that's something that still goes on you know they there's I'm sure there's a lot of photography you go you discover something you take pictures of it you diagram the photographs or whatever but it used to be that it was all done by drawing uh, James Audubon is I think one of the more famous ones but uh, we were watching the movie Master and Commander the other night great movie hilarious I highly recommend you watch it and there was a guy on there uh, his name was Steven he was the ship's doctor and he was so fascinated with nature and science and observation and all of that that he wanted to stay a little while on the Galapagos Islands and so at some point he was permitted and he did a bunch of uh, drawings one of the little uh, one of the other characters on the show I don't know exactly who he was or what he was but he was uh, a child and he was doing drawings and they were pretty cool of the tortoises and making notes of it and so on I kinda would like to go through and and find out what the names of all the parts of this cicada are and then do like a little diagram you know the little, little lines that go up and say this is the wing or this is the thorax or you know whatever the different parts of the um, cicada are so cicadas are some pretty creepy looking bugs and um, but they're also pretty fascinating so if you are not too grossed out by the cicada or if you like uh, creepy looking bugs then I recommend that you uh, head over to Redbubble and do a search for Chad Brown or Chad the artist or even Chad the artist and cicada maybe I'll put a link in the description down below but I've got a Redbubble account and I sell things 
uh, sell my images on different products. So like you could go to Redbubble and you could get a t-shirt with a picture of this cicada on it. Um, I don't have a lot of, I mean, obviously I, I just did this video of the cicada. So I've only got one cicada image in my Redbubble store and this is not it. Although I may put it up pretty soon. Uh, but I also have skulls from Inktober. I have um, some drawings that were in some of my previous sketchbooks, stuff like that. And you can get them put on t-shirts or coffee mugs or anything. Anyway, um, after I got through drawing the cicada, I uh, started doing the ink. I erased uh, lightly so as to get rid of the heavy graphite and then started with this uh, technical pen. I think it's a point one black technical pen and I actually bought it on Wish and it has uh, proved to be a pretty good pen. I got them like for the price of shipping. It was pretty awesome and uh, it was a whole pack of various size technical pens and they have done good work. I don't know how archival safe they are or anything like that but they work and I like them. So um, after I got through with the pencil I started cross hatching. A lot of people just like to leave things with pencil and that's fine you know if you like to draw in pencil that's absolutely fine nothing wrong with that but um, I don't like the smearing and all that and I think it just looks better with the high contrast and I just love the way pen and cross hatching and hatching looks so I usually finish my pen and ink drawings or technical pen drawings uh, with pen cross hatching in my sketchbooks uh, with the exception of some of the paintings but also that's kind of serves the same purpose if you do it in acrylic paint or ink as sort of like a painting then it also doesn't smear so that's good too anyway I'm just kind of going on um, if you like it let me know in the description I mean in the comments down below uh, if uh, you have any cicada stories let me know what's interesting is you can also find just the shells, the clear shells that they shed, and they don't look a whole lot like what I'm drawing right here. Uh, this is a plump, juicy cicada um, with muscles and all that in it. But when you when it sheds its shell, I guess it it doesn't have all that muscle and stuff in it to keep it thick, and so it becomes kind of a smaller looking creature. I guess I don't know maybe I'm wrong maybe maybe I'm thinking about two different things uh, I don't know anyway um, I want to tell you a little bit more about Redbubble uh, just real quick since I'm on the topic of it or was on the topic of it a minute ago um, head over to the Redbubble uh, redbubble.com do a search find my stuff and they have the ability there to follow or favorite some of the different images and I think that it would be beneficial if other people if, if if it gets a lot of hearts or a lot of favorites I imagine that Redbubble kicks it to the top of the search list so uh, it would probably be really helpful to me if you would like to help me out you don't have to buy anything just go to Redbubble and hit follow and favorite uh, some of the different images and that will help uh, send my stuff higher on the list of the search items and so on anyway uh didn't really mean for this to be a whole promotional thing i uh, just wanted to share my cicada drawing with you and let you know about the opportunity to get my stuff on Redbubble if you'd like all right anyway uh, so that was the end of it i went back and erased uh, as much of the uh, pencil lines as i could love the way the cross hatching and the ink work look I hope you like it. I try to do my videos in 4K so that you can see up close and appreciate uh, the line work that's done. It's not near as good as Aaron Horky. I highly recommend you look him up. But anyway, so there is my cicada. Crazy looking creature. It's your turn. Go make some art. Oh, and guess what else I found in my studio today? Stay tuned for that one.